this is kind of important for, I would say, pediatrics. So what's the data on speech delay and Chiari malformation? And is that something that might get better with surgery or is that medically meant? Yeah, that, that's, a, we, that's a fascinating question. And so the simple answer to what you've asked, what's the data, is there's none, all right? So, so we, we always want to base our medical recommendations on data. And when I say data, that means we've, we've studied this problem We've taken you know, hundreds of people at, with the same condition, and ideally we put some of them through a surgery and some of them not, and we see what happens, and then we can, we can have a really well-informed, uh, we have really well-informed knowledge about what's gonna happen. Right? With surgery, that's almost never possible because you can't operate on some and not others. So then next best is we've got hundreds of kids that we've operated on with this problem, and we know how often they get better and how often they don't. We don't have that either. And right? so when it comes to data, we don't have much. However, I can tell you that there are, there are anecdotes, right? So there's stories that, that, that we tell that, that, you know, physicians who care for Chiari, everybody's got one or two where, there's, where, where something like this will happen. I personally took care of a two-year-old several years ago, and he seemed to have a speech delay. He seemed to have behavioral problems. He had a twin brother who he was, which is very convenient, right, for, for, for the research side of things. This does not count as research, right? But this child had a twin brother who was much more advanced. And we, he had a Chiari, he actually had some sleep apnea as well. So he had reasons to have the surgery other than just his delay. So we did the operation and he did very well afterwards and caught up to his brother. Now, it's possible that a child is born with a Chiari and has bad headaches every time they use the bathroom, every time they cough or sneeze, or just, you know, as a, on a regular basis. But if you always have headaches, how do you describe that? How do you know that you're having headaches? And for a two or three year old who's pre-verbal, uh, or not very verbal, it's really hard to sort that out. So if you imagine a situation where you do an operation and then they feel better, well, then they may actually they may actually make some improvements in their development because of that. That is not data. That is not a medical recommendation. It's just a story. But um, it, it, that that's the. I think we have a number of people in the field who are who are trying to make a connection between Chiari and developmental delay, Chiari and maybe autism or ADHD. And, and that's how I at least would put those things together, although it's a very tenuous connection in my opinion. Yeah.